Hi friends, here I am going to draw a diagram for a third order crossover network of 18 dB slope per octave. It means that this network cuts off sharper at crossover point and prevents mixing of frequencies. Basically, inductors and capacitors are used in the circuit. Values of components can easily be found from online calculators or tables as per required crossover point. Here I have used some resistors in the tweeter circuit for smooth high frequency response. This is the complete network diagram. The high pass filter network section is isolated and marked in red line. This is a reel of 22 SWG enamel copper wire. This is a manual coil winding machine and the counter is set to zero. Coil will be wound on a small 1 inch diameter and 1 inch height plastic pipe placed between support plates on both sides. The plates are tightly fitted with a nut and clamped for winding. Now we start winding of the coil and keep watching the counter for making up to 150 turn. The coil is being taken out from the holder carefully. Coil is strapped on both sides with nylon fasteners to hold the shape. Wire ends are trimmed off and the enameled insulation is scrapped out. We are now going to measure the inductor value by a digital LCR meter. The selector switch of the digital meter is placed to 2 millihenry scale and the value of inductor reads about 0 0.6 millihenry. This is a PCB made as per the high pass filter part of the network diagram marked in red line. This is the place for mounting the inductor coil. These are the connection posts. Let us put all the components in their respective places. The 5 ohms 25 watt resistor, then the 20 ohms 25 watt resistor and a 5 ohms 25 watt resistor. Now this is 10 microfarad 250 volt non-polar capacitor, 3.3 microfarad 250 volt non-polar capacitor and 2.2 microfarad 250 volt 
non polar capacitor components placed and soldered the coil wires are inserted in the holes and glued with the board this board is fully assembled and soldered these are the connecting terminals the network will now be connected between the amplifier and the hf unit for testing these are cables from speaker output of amplifier connected to network input and ground terminal the positive end of the hf unit is being connected to the tweeter terminal and negative to ground now the balance control is turned to right channel only a horn is placed to the neck of the driver unit to increase the efficiency of the high frequency sound 